Welcome to my build of a 60 inch wingspan Ivanti Patterns plane. Um, today I'm going to be looking at um, the locking mechanism that will go into the, the, the front of the wings here and uh, will eventually be used to lock those wings into the fuselage. I'm also going to be um, finishing off the sheeting. Um, I've done the rear sheeting on a, a previous video and now I need to uh, sheet this front edge uh, there's a little bit at the, uh, the tips of the wings here and then there's uh, a big section here um, in the centre. Uh, and that's on uh, both the underside, which this is, and on the, uh, and on the top surface. I can't be um, fitting the actual wings to the fuselage until I have that sheeting in place and that locking mechanism in place. So that's going to be uh, the topic, if you like, of this, this video. Well this is the condition that we left the fuselage in um, a, f a few videos ago and um, it's nice to, to get back to it now and to start, uh, start thinking about, about doing some work on this. Um, if we sit in on this, uh, this top flat um, edge we can see the underside, we've got this former here, F3, uh, which I never glued in when I built the fuselage, or at least this, this part of the fuselage. And I also trimmed out the uh, triangular stock. I'll just zoom in on, on, on that now so you can see that a little bit better. Um, so, yeah, that just slides in and out and will allow me to um, take that out when I'm cutting a, a slot in it for the wings. Now, the front of the wings um, are going to have a, pro <coughs> excuse me, a projection which will go forward into that. And I'll just move this to the side and uh, show you how that's going to work. So, okay, well this is the upper surface uh, of the wing and these are these two ribs here which are three mil ply or R2. So they're in parallel with the the, the fuselage when it's fitted up. Uh, the R2, uh, sorry, R1 ribs here in the center which are joined together when I join the wings. Um, I've cut a slot in those, you can see, which is just slightly lower than the, the top of the, the leading edge. And I've done that so I can take, or it can take a, a five mil plywood insert, um, which has got this tongue on the front, which is gonna fit in, lock into um, that F3 on the, uh, on, in the fuselage, which we were looking at earlier. Um, so that, is going to be epoxied in. I can epoxy it um, to the back edge here and down these sides. I've chamfered that because um, once I've got that glued in, I'm going to be covering this with um, with sheeting. Um, I've also done a, a kind of a front uh, strengthener, if you like, out of uh, three mil ply, and I thought I would just glue that onto there like that. Um, I may decide not to because it's a bit of overkill. Um, and then, as I said, all this is going to be sheeted, leaving the servo bay. Um, so I'm going to get on now and glue that in. I've now got this 5mm uh, central locking piece epoxied into place. Um, and I also put in the 3mm the strengthener, 3mm ply strengthener. W what I've also done, because um, the wings will fit on, the fuselage goes on top of here, so um, the pressure to, to pull the wing off will be lifting this, this plate up and the wings down. Um, so I've just put in a, a couple of pieces of 6mm spruce either side onto these 3mm uh, um, plywood ribs and that will just, that will give that a, a tremendous amount of strength. Um, I just, I've seen so many planes where the wings peel off in flight and I just want to make sure for the sake of an extra few grams and it doesn't add up to that much I would rather have the strength here. So that's all sorted now and I'm going to start doing the, um, the sheeting. I'll just move the camera back and I'll show you uh, where I'm at with that. But now I'm thinking about the, uh, the sheeting itself. The, the balsa I've got isn't particularly soft. I can't get very soft balsa here. It's quite, it's quite hard. Um, make it stronger, um, but it does present a little bit of an issue maybe with, with wrapping it around. 
Well I've now trimmed my uh, leading edges for the top surface of the wings. Um, but as I said earlier, it's quite a stiff balsa um, and it's quite a big ask to get it to bend around the, uh, uh, the, the, the front curvature of, of, of the wing. And I think it's going to put quite a lot of tension. So what I've done is I've um, the, the, the opposing uh, wing, I've put on the bench on a piece of plastic and I've just soaked it with um, what I'm using is this cleaner. Uh, I mean, this is Mr. Muscle, um, but window cleaner, anything like that that's got ammonia in it because ammonia, um, as I understand it, um, uh, softens the lignin that makes it tough and, um, and allows it to bend. So I've just put some of this in a, in a container and I've just brushed it on liberally so it soaks through. I haven't done the back edge because I don't need to bend that. I've just done this front, uh, this front section. Um, I've put it in plastic because I don't know what the ammonia and, and chemical will do to my cutting mat. Um, I've also, I needed something to prop up the front. I've got this 10mm uh, square carbon fibre rod and I've also got the plastic on top of that because uh, it was quite expensive and I don't want to, I don't want to risk weakening that or doing any damage to it. So anyway, I've got this propped up now and curved and uh, I'm going to leave that overnight and, um, and, and see what that's like in the morning. I've just got some clips, just pulling the plastic back um, just to uh, allow it to, to get a bit of air to, to dry out. I've now got both uh, of the upper pieces of sheeting uh, for the leading edge bent now. It's not much of a bend, um, but it is enough just to take the tension out of out of that front leading edge and that will glue on nicely now with very little stress. I'm really I'm really quite pleased with that. I still need to just trim these up to size in the center um, just to so that they butt together nicely um, which I'm going to do in a second. Um, but what I need to think about now is just the sheeting in this central section and I'm going to join um, these two pieces together to trim that um, to the right shape. Right, well, a quick update on the sheeting. I've, um, I've got the, the leading edge done, uh, top and on the other side, which is nice, that's good. And uh, having that curve made it a lot easier. But having said that, it was still really tricky um, on, this, uh, on this leading edge here, where essentially um, these are supposed to come and meet with a nice join and then you just put on, on the ball nose. Oh, I found that quite tricky, quite difficult, and it doesn't look very good. So I, I, I wasn't particularly happy with that. So what I've done is I've used my David plane and I've uh, basically put a flat edge on that front. And I've then put on a piece of 6mm balsa, um, for the length of it. And I've done that on this, uh, this right hand wing, just turn that round. Um, so I've done that on that right hand wing, you can just see the join going down here. And so far I've just uh, profiled that with my plane and then sandy so it follows the line uh, of the wing, um, top and bottom. Uh, what it has done is it's because I've followed the line of the wing, it comes to a point. So we obviously don't want that, so I'm going to put a ball nose on there. But the first thing to do is just to get that um, uh, uh, into a nice shape following the wing. And I'm really pleased with, with that finish now. It looks secure, it's, it, it's, uh, it, it just looks so much better and, and so much stronger. I, I can't recommend these David planes enough. Uh, and I've said previously, there's a, a, a review on my channel and I'll, I'll put a link in the description below. So, I've still got um, the leading edge on this side to do similarly. And uh, I just CA that onto the front, just going along, pressing it with my finger, making sure it's nice and tight. So I'm going to do that in a bit. Um, I've still got the, the, um, the sheeting on the central section here. Uh, here's one piece I've done, uh, which 
I'm not actually that happy with, so I'm going to redo it. Um, but essentially, that fills that central section. So like I say, I've got these, these pieces of balsa here to do that. So that will give quite a nice shape to that. I thought I'd quickly show what I've done with this leading edge. I've just planed that to a flat edge now. And I'm going to put on this piece of 6mm balsa, which I, as I said earlier, I will CA into place. I'm just putting in three pins so that it doesn't move and I find I've glued it in the wrong place. And I've got another pin here somewhere. So it doesn't really matter as long where it is as long as it's overlapping the uh, the, the sheeting either side. So I'm going to see that into place now, CA that into place now and then I will use my plane to take that down to the profile which again will put a point on the front which I could just bulldoze over. Well I now have the sheeting finished for 99% um, of the wing I guess. Um, I still have the uh, cap strips to put on. Um, these are, I've cut them and I've got them ready but you know what I'm going to leave these right till the very last thing probably because I've still got a little bit of sanding to do, I still need to just profile that front end and, um, and at the end here where the wingtips go there's a little bit of a, a radius and a bit of a small piece of sheeting there and I think if I do the cap strips now uh, I'm going to damage the odd one or two when I'm uh, trying to hold it to, to, to do some sanding so I'll, I'll put those on towards the end. But this, this, this sheeting's gone on quite nicely, it's, um, it's all nice and smooth, um, as I say it still needs uh, some, some, some more finishing. I, I've got the, uh, the grooves, the slots here for the um, uh, landing gear and I've drilled down into that torsion block as well. I did, I did the drilling down into the torsion block, block before I did the sheeting. Just, in, just so I could see inside and, and make sure that I wasn't coming out of the bottom of the torsion block with a bit of a, um, a, a jerk and coming through my sheeting here. Uh, and also I, I, I wanted to um, uh, just see what I was doing a little bit better lining it up. What else have I got to do? Right, the only other thing I need to do, which I'm a little bit apprehensive about, is I need to put a six inch strip of fiberglass down the center of the fuselage just to give it that extra little bit of strength. I'm, I'm not sure how that's going to go at the moment. I've got some thicker fiberglass and I've got some very fine fiberglass. I, I'm going to have a look at that and, and, and see. I haven't got any finishing resin and I can't get any without some major international post where I am, I can't find any in the country. So what I'm gonna do, and I've done this before, is I'm gonna use normal uh, ZAP 30 minute epoxy and I'm gonna uh, just dilute that down a little bit with some ethanol. And as long as I'm careful not to over dilute it, that will go lovely and it does spread on nice and it does go hard and it's, it's sandable. So I'm not sure there's a lot of difference between doing that and buying the fish, finishing resin. There must be some difference, but, but, but that, that works fine. So I'm just going to do that and then we'll be finished on the wings and we can move on. Now we've got this sheeting, we can move on getting the correct fit onto the fuselage. I've now got the, the fiberglass in place. Um, this fiberglass is, uh, I, I believe it's three ounce fiberglass, so it's not really fine, but it's not really heavy. I've been really nervous about doing this uh, when I've brushed it on before uh, on, on bits I've done it's moved around a lot and that and, and I rang up a friend of mine uh, a guy called Norm who's huge amount of experience and he gave me some really helpful advice and he said just tack it down with CA I may have gone a little bit overboard with the CA but I've just tacked down the edges a bit in the center put the odd blob here and you know, that advice is just huge. It's made such a difference, I think, because now that is good and solid. 
I've tried to do small dabs so that I've still got plenty of room for the epoxy to soak in. But anyway, I'm going to mix up my epoxy and see how that goes. I've got the servo bay here, um, which I'm going to actually leave and I'll epoxy around that and then I'll cut it and sand it to shape, I think. I think I'd rather do that than, uh, than try and sort it, cut it out now and just weaken the, the, the mat. So thanks Norm for that brilliant advice. Uh, that's made me feel a lot better about doing this and uh, let's get on and see how it goes. Okay well this has all dried now and been sanded off and is looking quite quite smooth. I did the original first coat and you could still see the the weave and feel the weave of the the glass fibre. I think I said it was three ounce glass fibre. So then I did a I, I, I gave it a rough sanding just to get off any sort of uh, bits that were sticking up <clears throat> and then I did a second coat which really kind of glossed over that and then these bits that will be seen so at the sides here I've sanded that quite a bit and, and tried to just smooth it in and it, if you close your eyes and try and feel it you can some places you can't feel it at all other places you can just feel it a little bit the, the edges so I'm hoping that won't show when I do the final covering. It's, it's still going to have the final sanding so that will get a little bit better when I do the final sanding but it, it looks pretty good and like I say that central section there was no need to do. The, the servo bay uh, cut out quite easily with a, a, a scalpel. I've also done the underside as well and again that's, that's smoothed quite nicely so I'm quite pleased with that uh, and I've got these uh, bits here just to cut out where the, the landing gear goes in. So the only job I've got left to do now, as I said, was is the cap strips and just this very tiny little radius here at the tip of the wing. But I'm not going to do that till, till a lot later down the line. I've, I've started doing the wing tips. I've uh, done the right hand wing tip and that, that seems quite nice and, and there's some good reference points for, for helping to, uh, to decide the shape of that. It was, uh, started off life as a, a big block with uh, just the plan view on. But if you're interested to see how I did this, then have a look in the description below this video and there's a, a separate video. I didn't want to tag it onto this video and make it too long. So I, I've done a separate video covering that. So the next stage is really starting to get exciting because I'm going to start actually attaching this or I'm going to attach this now to the fuselage itself so locking this in to the uh, F3 I think it is former at the front and doing the bolts at the back so that's that that's when it all starts to come together when you can actually um, <laughs> put the wings on the fuselage so thanks for watching and I hope you'll follow me and, and see how we get on the next part of the build